YouTube. Welcome to the most amazing top five, where I break down the world into brilliant top five lists. My name is Michael McCredden. Sit back, subscribe, and let me entertain you. First off, I want to hear from you guys. Do you believe in aliens? Now let's get a little more obscure. Do you believe in the greys or the reptilians? Do you believe in another species? Let me know down below. Now let's jump into our list, top five things you didn't know about Area 51. Woo! In the number five spot, the US government finally acknowledged its existence only in 2013. They stated that it was a test facility for aerial and surveillance technology. Not exactly the juicy stuff we all wanted to hear. Area 51, located 125 miles northwest of Las Vegas, is synonymous in popular culture with government secrecy, and many have theorized that it holds answers to one of the greatest questions plaguing mankind. Are we alone in the universe? Agent Mulder, David Duchovny, he still wants to know. In 2013, CIA documents officially acknowledged the site according to some reports, which included a map of the base's location in Nevada. Area 51 was merely a testing site for the government's U-2 and Oxcart aerial surveillance programs. The U-2 program conducted surveillance around the world, including over the Soviet Union during the Cold War. It's U-2, not like the band U-2, not like they built this base just to watch a bunch of Irish guys make music. Although that would be funny. No, that'd be weird. In the number four spot, the patrolling officers, they have the right to shoot and kill any trespassers. Now, if you try and take a stroll around the grounds, they will kill you. The borders of Area 51 are not fenced, but are marked with orange poles and warning signs. The signs tell you that photography isn't allowed and that trespassing on the property will result in a fine. The signs also warn that security is authorized to use deadly force on people who insist on trespassing. Now, if you take a stroll online and look at the rumor website, well, there's a whole lot of names of people who have died because they wanted to get into the site. So proceed with caution. And if you still think it's worth the risk, there are sensor detectors and officers dressed in camo who patrol the hood day and night. So best of luck to you. Do not turn on that flashlight. I'd recommend some x-ray vision at the very least. In the number three spot, we have the sci-fi brothel just down the road. It's a galactic themed brothel that brings to life sci-fi geeks wildest fantasies, incorporating sex into an array of settings from famous sci-fi films and TV shows. It's might what you call the triple X files and it's all legal. They're in Nevada. Woohoo! Imagine you're like, I want to go to Area 51. Oh, I didn't get in. What a letdown. Now I'm at the brothel. But I really wanted to go here. As I said, Nevada is a state in which prostitution is legal. And for the right price, any Star Wars enthusiast can spend a steamy moment with Princess Leia dressed in her chains in her iconic gold bikini. Or if that's not your style and you want to dress up as Darth Vader and lay it into a stormtrooper, you can do that. On top of all this, there is said to be a Captain Kirk chair, which you can use for your own pleasure. So guys, if you're like Leonard from Big Bang Theory, this is your oasis. In the number two spot, there is a lack of entertainment inside the base. Inside, they have a single tennis court with a concrete floor and a bowling alley. Good luck trying to watch TV in there. They have none. However, they do have a fluctuating radio, which picks up some music in the evenings. So you must imagine half the staff members will they take off to the brothel just down the road each and every night. In the number one spot, Area 51, well, they weren't happy with the film Independence Day. In the blockbuster film, Area 1 was a large facility where an alien ship that crashed in Roswell, New Mexico, along with its passengers, were stored and being tested on. The U.S. military originally intended to provide personal vehicles and costumes for the film. However, they backed out when the producers refused to remove the script's use of Area 51. Currently, Independence Day 2 is set to go into production, and I wonder how they're feeling about this sequel. Welcome to Earth. Boom. I'm excited, but I don't think the people at Area 51 are as excited or as enthused. Ooh, the truth is out there and they're not sharing it with anyone. Okay, that's all I got for you guys. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you believe in aliens and what species do you think is the best or the most superior or coming to Earth in the nearest future? Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section. Also, be sure to subscribe to The Most Amazing Top 5 if you haven't already. My name is Michael McCredden and I'm pumping out six videos a week. I think we're going to have even more coming in the future. So it's about time you sat back, relaxed, and let me entertain you because this is about to hit warp speed. Warp drive? Uh, I'm not really a sci-fi guy.